Hi, Johnny here, and welcome to Birdland. Every Sunday for the last two years, we have been bringing you the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra through a live stream. Without further ado, please welcome the orchestra.
Welcome to Virtual Birdland week 155. Week 155, and that ain't no jive. We here, we still here, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep doing this as long as we can, and we're getting ready to announce some incredible changes to our monthly Virtual Birdland lineup. We're redesigning some unbelievable stuff for you. My name is Arturo Farrell. I'm the founder and artistic director of the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra and the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance. And, uh... Just some exciting stuff is coming up. A lot of exciting stuff is coming up. I've, I've been alluding to, we're going to announce the presence, the, cons the, the beginning of construction on Timbali Terrace, a 19-story affordable housing building in Spanish Harlem. And the first two floors will be the Afro-Latin Jazz Lines Community Music and Arts Performance Center. I, that's all I can say now. Let's just say that we're beginning an incredible part of the adventure of the orchestra and the alliance. What you just heard was a wonderful composition that um, I think Chico retooled several times, but this version was called Gone City, and it featured Larry Bustamante, Earl McIntyre, and Ricky Rodriguez. The next piece you're going to hear is a piece called En Tu Ausencia, which is written by Miguel Blanco. Enjoy.
and Tu Ausencia, written by the great Miguel Blanco, and it featured Brian Davis and Addison Evans. Um, the next piece you're going to hear, I got to tell you, I got to set it up a little bit because I love this musician. Um, I've been to his home in Kuwait. I've been to his home in in Abu Dhabi. I know his his wife, his child, his mother, his father, his sister. And I feel like the 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 there was there was a moment in life where I met someone who I've known forever. That's how I feel about Dr. Ghazi Al Mulaifi. Um, I love this man so much, and this is such a beautiful piece of music that he wrote. This is called Anna Mashouf, and it will feature. Uh, Dr. Ghazi Alu Lifey and the incredible Kuwait percussion team, Boom D1.
Ana Mashuv, composed by Dr. Ghazi Al Mulaifi, featuring the incredible percussion team group ensemble from Kuwait, recorded directly in Kuwait, uh, Boom Diwan. It also featured uh, Alejandro Aviles on the soprano sax. Um, before we close, I want to tell you about some of the most superheroes that I know. We start with, with our associate artistic director, Andrew Antron, our video and content editors, Brian Davis and Astrid Asmussen, our incredible sound engineer, Peter Carl. The team that keeps the Afro-Latin jazz uh, train on track and uh, moving forward is headed by the incredible Marietta Ulasia, our executive director, Andrea Thompson, our director of development, Eric Toller, director of programming and production, Zach O'Farrell, director of educational programs, Stefan Anden Mikhail, director of operations, uh, Felipe Tristan, our marketing and communications manager, uh, Andrew Andron, our music administration manager, uh, Alberto Miranda, our production manager, Miguel Sardui, our, our, our audiovisual and social media manager, Isabel Roster, our, our individual and event board relations associate, uh, Diane Thompson, our development consultant, and Sanyet McKee, our executive assistant and office manager. Um, we're so grateful. As I, as I alluded to earlier, things are happening really quickly. We've been meeting with architects and elected officials and it's been announced already, but I'm, I'm, I'm understanding in my brain. My brain is wrapping around the idea that we will have an Afro-Latin Music Alliance Performing Community Arts Center in Spanish Harlem. I don't know if Chico understood what he was doing when he came to New York to become a composer, or if Tito Puente or Mario Bassanio, what they were doing when they decided to create a different conversation in the music that we call Afro-Latin, Afro-Cuban, or just jazz. I don't know if any of these people realize that we are building homes, institutions, campfires around which many people gather, and I'm humbled that we're on the eve of beginning to construct our brick-and-mortar facility in Spanish Harlem. Um, by far and above, the people that make these things possible are the women and men that actually do the work of performing, of playing the music, and these are heroes to me. Jasper Dutz, Roman Filiu, Alejandro Aviles, Addison Evans, Ivan Renta, Berto Moreno, and Larry Bustamante are our saxophone section. Rafi Malkiel, uh, Hasim Perales, Mario Bilston, Juanga Lacunza, Abdul Rahman, Amer, Ben Barnett, Earl McIntyre, and James Rogers are incredible trombone section. Seneca Black, Brian Davis, Rachel Therrien, Adam O'Farrell, and Walter Cano in our trombone section. The rhythm section is myself on piano, Andrew Andron on piano, Bam Bam Rodriguez on bass, Ricky Rodriguez on bass, Carly Carlos Maldonado on percussion, Keza Jimenez on congas, and the great Vince Cherico on the drums. Again, our guest this week uh, was Ghazi al and Boom Diwan. Now, before we close with our last piece, I do want to say that... Um, Man, I've been feeling uh, all kinds of anxiety again about the stuff with uh, the GOP lining up behind uh, Donald Trump and insisting that, that the indictment was uh, politically motivated. And yet, if you or I did the things, if you or I did half the things that Donald has been accused of, we'd have been in jail for hundreds of years. No one is above the law. I don't care if you're Republican, I don't care if you're a Democrat, conservative, a liberal, I don't care if you're gay, straight, trans, white, black, green, red, polka dots, I don't care. This has to be a nation of laws, and everyone, from the highest to the lowest, has to be held accountable. This has nothing to do with MAGA, this has nothing to do with uh, Christian nationalism or Islamic, nothing. This has to do with, we all agree, the social contract says, we all agree to give up certain freedoms so that we can be a part of a fair and just society. We can't just do what we want and get away with it. Um, that's my feeling, man. Had nothing against me, had nothing against you. Don't know who you are, what you are. Love you anyway. Um, we're going to close with a Miguel Blanco composition and arrangement uh, called Bolitas Obolitas. Obsolitas. Bolitas Obsolitas, featuring Jasper Dutz and Rafi Malkiel. Big things are coming.
And I'm always amazed. Um, if you keep your hand to the plowshare, if you keep fanning the flames, building that campfire, amazing things will happen. Be of faith. The best is yet to come. Take care.
We hope you've enjoyed this evening's performance. We look forward to having you back with us next Sunday. Just a reminder, the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra appears every Sunday at Birdland at 8.30 and 10.30. Till then, good night.